Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and a few weeks ago I took a challenge of drawing a forest with a cheap and common ballpoint pen. Mary B85 liked it a lot. However, she said that it was easy because you don't need to keep any proportions or make any corrections when drawing a tree or a forest. She says that a tree can be longer or shorter or wider and so the branches. She said that the real challenge would be to draw a pretty face with the same cheap and common ballpoint pen. So Mary, challenge accepted. Let's try it. Normally, when sketching the face in profile with pencil or charcoal, I would start with a circle for the cranium. But here, since I cannot erase, I do just a part of it. The rest, I will just have to visualize it. I don't want to draw the part of the circle that would cross the face. I think that would show too much. Then do a light guideline, slightly curving for the edge of the face. This line will still show at the end of the drawing, but not tremendously. I think it would look alright. And I would also mark a line in this direction if I were using a pencil. But for now, I just visualize it again and begin drawing the eyebrow. Lightly for now, in case I want to make a correction or something. Then let's give the shape to the forehead. It protrudes where the bone under the eyebrow is. And the nose. Now the lower jaw. And we use the height of the eyebrow and of the lower part of the nose to place the ear. And then from there we can sketch the neck, which in this case I want long and thin, very elegant. The shoulder over here, okay, maybe this neck is too thin, let's widen it a little bit. Like so, and then also the shoulder. That looks more in proportion. So the brow will begin here, and I draw a shadow underneath, and then the eye with the upper and lower lens. I'll change the angle of the nose slightly and draw the nostril. The forehead a little bit further up and then let's do the lips. Wide, attractive lips. <laughs> I'll go a little bit wider here. Oh no, I have bad news for you. I think the eye is too high. This may ruin the whole challenge. But I don't think so. I think we were lucky, because where they are, I think those lines won't show at the end. We redraw the lids, the iris, and the pupil with a white reflection to give it life. We tone the iris with short, concentric lines. The upper part of it is darker because it is in shadow. And we begin shading the skin, also with short lines. At first, I try to go as slightly as possible to start giving the shapes and the volumes to it. And once happy with it, I will go a bit darker in some places. We do cross hatching, making lines in different directions to darken it further. Generally speaking, I try to make the lines in directions as if I were drawing on the actual surfaces. We can also start pressing a little bit more now, to get darker blacks. We try to indicate the muscles, tendons and shadows of the neck and shoulder. This area of the back will be in shade, since I am considering the light source to be on the top left. It is actually a pleasure to work with this type of tool. These pens draw very well. I love doing this. Again, we make lines in different directions. Now almost the whole face is white. Let's remedy that to indicate the shapes. We do this with a light hand, very softly. And we need to add more volume to the back, like so, up to here. Like so. And let's shade it. It's time to work on the hair. And that is very fun. 
first we mark the volume and the flow of it. Drawing hair is fun, but it may also be very time consuming. Sometimes it takes about the same to draw the hair than what it took to do everything else. Here it will not take as long because I am speeding it up a lot. And let's add a little braid holding this part. I think that may look nice. One thing that we need to keep in mind and remember while doing all this work is where the light source is and what parts will be in shape. There is like a general big shaded area that is everything to the right and low and then every small volume also has its own shading. All right, and so that it looks more natural, we should add some loose strands. like so, here and there. Very good, excellent! And at this point, we should reinforce some of the shadows, like this core shadow at the border of the light and shade. I also darkened this area down here. This was quite a challenge, probably the toughest I have taken so far. Please let me know if you think it was met successfully. If you are watching this video on the day of the release, Happy New Year! May it be great for you! And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.